Yeah, it's been a long time since I did a fragrant file. And yes, that is right. You do see that Los Angeles Clippers as the flagrant file yet again. I think it's the third time I've done this. And it ain't, it ain't nothing different because it is because of these gentlemen here. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, and mostly Kawhi Leonard. But Paul George must be included as well as he is part of the duo that is the Los Angeles Clippers, should I say. But yes, I have to do another flagrant foul on these two. Because, you know, when I get you caught up with the playoffs, this this take has already taken place, so we already know what happened with them. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, you know, it, it, it is amazing to me that we get to see y'all like this. More times than not. Instead of on the freaking basketball court, bowling like we know that y'all can ball. But no, you guys are always in freaking street clothes. Doesn't make no sense. It really doesn't. Let me just get this up in here. So, we found out a little later on at the game, too, that Kawhi Leonard had a knee sprain that was supposedly what the diagnosis was. So he missed games three, four, and five as the Clippers was ousted in five games by the Phoenix Suns. He had a loss of he had the he had to hear his sister go to jail for life. That's painful. And then after the series is over, we found out Kawhi Leonard was diagnosed with a torn meniscus in his knee. It is very, very, and I do mean very difficult to support the Los Angeles Clippers when you just don't know when Paul George and Kawhi Leonard are going to be available. It is very difficult to support this team because injuries continuously happen to the main two guys of the team. Mainly the cornerstone of the team, which is Kawhi Leonard. Very, very difficult. It's been four years now. Four years. Four years. The Clippers have nothing to show for it but a conference finals appearance, thanks to Paul George, which I will get to that. This is what Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce had to say about Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. The most unreliable NBA duo. This is from Kevin Durant. I mean, Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce. They're two guys that teamed together down in Boston to bring home a championship. I'm going with Ray Allen. Before Ron John Rondo got there. As Doc Rivers, that's the head coach. Oh, by the way, who coached these two? I think for one season, two seasons before they went to Tor Toronto. I mean, his. We, you see these two guys in these black jerseys. They see that's, that's that's a Clippers black uniform here. We don't see that a lot because we too busy seeing this a lot. So within the four, since now four seasons have ended, these two have played a total of 142 games together. That includes regular season and postseason. Record rise 96 and 46. You, but you like, well, damn, but damn, we're still healthy. They can do some damage. Yeah, you're right. That's the damn problem. Because what? So they played 140. So let's say 96. Divided by 142. They have a win percentage of 67.6%. They win 67% of the game. Two-thirds! More than two-thirds of their game they win when they're on the freaking court. For every three games these two play together, they win two of them. So if I was to take that map right What is 33% of? So you take away 27 games. So 
You're looking at 55 and 27 each year. You're in the playoffs. You're in. You're a top four seed. At least it was they have to for a full damn season. For a full damn season. They will win at least 55 games if these two stay healthy because they win two, two thirds of their games. They literally win two thirds of their games. So let's go on a memory trip here because right before Kawhi Leonard went to the Clippers, and the last time we actually saw Kawhi Leonard smile was this 2019 NBA Finals. When they beat the Warriors in six, Kawhi Leonard became a two-time champion and a two-time Finals MVP. This is the last time we seen Kawhi Leonard smile and be happy and love life, because he got out of San Antonio, went to Toronto, and led them to a title. By the way, he played all twenty-four playoff games for the Raptors that year. Played all 24 postseason games for the Raptors that year. Just don't add there. Plus, if you ain't seen my article, uh, should the Clippers move on from Kawhi Leonard and call it a failure, go back and read it. It's on the website. Also, you can listen to Stephen A. Smith because I got this fact from Stephen A. Smith. This is the first take that day. Stephen A. Smith said Kawhi Leonard played all 24 games. Since his four seasons with the Clippers, including the two games he played against the Phoenix Suns, that's a total of 26. And one postseason with the Toronto Raptors, he played every single game, which is 24, to capture a NBA championship in Canada. He went back home because he's from L.A. to play with the Clippers. It's been four years, four seasons, and he's played a grand total of 26 playoff games. This is why we have a problem. This is why I am fed up. This is why I'm acting this way. Because for the fourth time this damn year, I have went with the freaking Clippers to come out of the West. And every time I've been bitten by injury to a Paul George and an injury to Kawhi Leonard. But well, except for the first year. The first year was different. Speaking of this, let's go to the first year. The Boba season. 27 and 10. 76 in the playoffs. Not bad, right? Follow me, and most people know this because people bring this up. This is where Kawhi Leonard and Paul George choked the 3 1 lead to the Denver Nuggets. And Paul George got the brunt of it because they started calling him Pandemic P. Even though Kawhi Leonard was part of that team that choked to the Denver Nuggets in the bubble down in Orlando, Florida back in 2019 2020 season. But Paul Jones got the blunt of the ridicule for being pandemic P and being not being able to focus the way he should have. Almost, he, if you think about it, I'm kind of thinking he almost went through a state of depression at this time because they were stuck in Orlando for months after having months off. But they were stuck in Orlando. They were stuck in Orlando. They couldn't go back to the West Coast until that season was over. That's the last time these two actually actually you know this was the first this was the first time these two played in the postseason together. And they definitely played every game together. So yes, Kawhi Leonard was part of that choke job too. That's year one. Year two. 2020, 11 season, 32 and 11. Six and five in the playoffs. Six and five because Kawhi Leonard got injured in the Utah series. Was that, was that the conference semifinal series? He got injured there. He never made it back. And Paul George led them to the conference finals when he took the Phoenix Suns six game to get rid of them before they got ultimately got taken out by the Milwaukee buzzing in the of the Cooper in six games for the NBA championship. But Paul George helped lead them to the conference championship round before they getting beat by Phoenix. Kawhi Leonard was done. And he was so done with that injury against the Utah Jets that he missed the following season, which is the 2021-22 season. And a season where Paul just didn't make it that far either. He only played about 40%, about 40 something odd games. And they missed the playoff. They made the play in. So Paul just didn't make it back for the end of the season. They was in the play in and they got pretty much dominated by the Minnesota 
Timberwolves to get ousted out of the playoffs. So they didn't even make the playoffs. They made the play-in, but they didn't even win the play-in. So that's how that season, which was last season, how they missed the playoffs in Kawhi Leonard. They tested the floor not one bit that season. Okay. Now that catches up to what happened this season. 24 and 14 with them two on the court together because Paul Joe was so from the injury. Kawhi Leonard was still, there was low manager Kawhi Leonard because he was coming off that knee injury. Paul Joe was in him getting that knee sprain against the Oklahoma City Thunder in which he didn't make it back in time, which he didn't make it back at all for the postseason run. Kawhi Leonard plays games one and two. It's the best player on the court in the series, and everybody know it. They win game one, they lose game two. Come to find out, Kawhi Leonard was not making it back, and we know the results of the Clippers season. It was a Russell Westbrook, Norman Powell tried they damnness. They damnness to win one of the three games. They damnness to win one of the three games. They just won one. And this is where we at. Torn meniscus for Kawhi Leonard. We initially thought it was a knee sprain, but no. Torn meniscus, and we're going to see how long he's going to be out. Because, matter of fact, we, I need to know what's the curve recovery time for a torn meniscus. Because this is going to be really difficult. Full recovery from meniscus surgery can take anywhere from six weeks to three months. You can care. Your care after surgery may involve crushes to take stress off the knee as it heals, knee brace to stabilize the joint as you recover. That's just the basic. Let me see about NBA. Is it the same thing? For the successful surgical recovery with torn meniscus, it typically takes four to eight weeks to fully recover. It can take several more months of physical therapy and, re and rehabilitation. However, to ensure your knee has the strength and stability it needs to return to sports with minimal risk of re injury. So, the normal recovery time, which is basic recovery time, can be long, can be as long as three months. For a sports person, an athlete, four to eight weeks to recover fully, and then several months of physical therapy. So you're looking about three to about six months. I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. So it is, but yet again, it's Kawhi Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard has always been injured, and his week and his return from injury always take longer than usual. Sound like somebody I know down in New Orleans, but I am not gonna mention that guy's name because people, because some, some people down there want to give him an injury. But I'm running out of patience with Kawhi Leonard right about now. Now I know some people are not happy about what Stephen A. said when they were talking about they, the Clippers show force Kawhi Leonard to retire. And Stephen is not backing off on it because, uh, dude, you're not available. What do what does Kawhi Leonard do for the Clippers at all? Low medicine him. Then he still gets injured. When he's injured, he's out for a very long time. He really doesn't do much TV. He had that one commercial. With New Balance, that's about it. Like, Kawhi Leonard is a quiet guy. Okay, we don't hear nothing from Kawhi Leonard. His teammates don't even know when he's going to play on that. Because they don't care how that type of relationship with Kawhi Leonard. Because Kawhi Leonard is a quiet guy. So we don't know nothing about Kawhi Leonard. Which is freaking ridiculous. That we sit here four seasons in and we still dealing with the same thing when it comes to Kawhi Leonard. Who is a superstar? You cannot deny that from the man. The man can score at a ridiculous way and he can defend his ass off. 
He is very efficient at scoring, which is going If you can take the injuries away, I think Corral and the probably have about five championships. If you want to be honest. And he probably have five finals MVP. He's that elite. Because he gets it done on both sides of the floor and against the best player on the other team. He is that damn good. But when you're that damn good, you got to be on the court to show it. And you're not on the court to show it, Kawhi. You're just not. That's what's so frustrating. Nevertheless, on the 27, Clippers president commit commitment to Kawhi Leonard and Paul George remain. So they're going to give it another shot. They going to give it another shot. I don't know if I can give it another shot next season. I don't know if I can come to the next season and be like, you know what, I'm picking the Cubs to come out of the West. I don't know if I can do it. I've done it four times. I got bit four times. I have picked the Clippers all four seasons. Bubble season, the season after. Actually, no, I didn't pick them in 20, 2021, 2022, because I knew Corona was missing the season, so I didn't pick them. I went somewhere else. I think that year, I think I went Golden State that year. But that didn't matter. But three out of the four seasons, I picked the damn Clippers. And I got bit all three times. All three times. And it made me so happy to, to be picking the Clippers, for those who want to know. Because when LeBron went to L.A., Kawhi said, I want to go back to L.A. and I want to go to the Clippers. I'm like, yes. Get. Not only can LeBron get his ass whooped, but the Lakers can get their ass whooped, too, by a team. That is like the little brother in town in, in the Clippers. It'll be so sweet. It is for the regular season because they've been whooping the Lakers as like 11 straight regular as the regular season games go. They never faced off in the Clippers. And as of right now, the Lakers are in the conference in the conference semifinals, and the Clippers are home because of injuries. Of injuries. It, but Steve Ballman and the team, they must have talked around. Lou and them told they're going to give it another chance. So we shall see where it goes from here. But, dude, I'm running out of patience, and I don't think I'm the only one running out of patience. So that's my fucking proud. Um, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and the goddamn Clippers.